stupid dude making a thumbnail. Oh my god. I hate YouTube. The I hate that face. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this eBay extravaganza video. Now, I don't know how the logistics of my space are going to work with all of these packages. And I'm going to try not to crinkle right in my mic in front of you guys. I'm not going to go with the forward-facing camera just because I don't think it's as good as quality as this right here. Um, and yeah, so we got a lot of packages we got from eBay. I made little openings just so I didn't struggle too much on the screen. I know I'm still going to struggle a lot and I kind of look like a ghost, but that's okay. That's okay. We have a lot of packages here. We have one, two, three, four, five. And these are all either graded cards, um, ungraded cards, like mint condition, or I think there might be a tin or something in here. I don't know, like I said, I did pop them open, but I did not look just so we can make sure that there are some surprises here. So we're gonna get to the first package, which I guess we'll just go with this guy. Um, I made sure to block out all the addresses and everything. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a brick of uh, I'm not gonna say the rest of that sentence, but you guys might know what that is. I'm gonna tell you something about me, Joe Rogan, that you might not know. I smoke rocks. But we're gonna open this bad boy and see what we got. We, ooh, we got some packing peanuts. Throw some of those at you guys. Throw some of those at you guys. Make a mess. Oh, I think I almost hit the camera. Uh, we got, oh baby, 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 baby. It's one of the ones I've been waiting for for a very long time. Very long timing, like a week. But it is in some bubble wrap, so I'm gonna do some ASMR. I'm sorry, I'm obnoxious. I know I'm obnoxious, but but I did tell you guys I was collecting Hidden Fates cards, and I also am doing like a, a section inside of Hidden Fates. I am trying to get all of the evolutions in Hidden Fates PSA 10. This bad boy looks so good. I know my camera is really screwing up and not uh, focusing on the card and I apologize, but I don't know. We might have to check that out. And But this card looks so pretty. This is one of the most expensive evolutions um, for Hidden Fates. I believe Umbreon is more expensive than this uh, Eevee, but there is the point that I really like about Hidden Fates is that the shiny versions of these Pokemon look so good and as I've said in the past I know there's a lot of hype around Hidden Fates right now and that may cause the price to decline but I just really wanted this in my collection just because it's such a good looking card and my camera is just just being so stupid is it not going to oh there we go there we go, but yeah, we got that with Psy Strike, and it is backwards, so that makes it even better, so you guys can barely see this, but yeah, we did get our Espeon, and we'll see how many other evolutions we have in this opening. Alright, moving on to our next package, it, um, looks like someone wrote on it, it's fragile, stay safe, thank you, and then they also said, thank you, stay safe, so, stay safe, stay safe, I really enjoy, uh, buying from eBay shoppers, or eBay, um, not employees, eBay shoppers, yeah, I guess what they're called, when they're uh, really cool, like if they're really accommodating or if they are easy to message back and forth, but um, I do not know what is in here, so we are going to take this out, and it looks like we got another bubble wrap, and there's other stuff in here that I for sure did not order. What the heck? Okay, so this person sent me a three additional game card sword and shield pack along with a guardians rising sun and moon and another three card additional sword and shield pack so that is really nice see well, look what i'm talking about ebay people they're so freaking nice but yeah we're gonna struggle to get this bad boy open once again Ooh, and this is one of my riskier pickups this is one of my riskier pickups i will actually tell you guys the price i did pick this up for um, I usually don't want to do that just because, you know, it's not good to talk about money on the internet. But I did pick this up for $150. I know that's crazy. But this card is the Shiny Leafeon from Hidden Fates. And I hate that my camera and my freaking thing is just not picking that up. But yeah, this is the Shiny Leafeon from Hidden Fates. And it generally goes for like 230 
But as you guys can see on the top, if you can't see that, it is not graded by PSA. It is actually a GMA-10 who is not as respected as PSA. So I thought maybe I could pick this up for $150. It was rated a Gem Mint 10, but it's a GMA Gem Mint 10. So maybe if, if I believe it is still a 10, I could resend it back into PSA and get it PSA graded. And I mean, it looks really good. Um, but yeah, this 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 is one of the I think deals that I got, um, and it was a risk, like I said. But this seller was so cool, sending three packs. I think we'll just might have to open up those packs right now. But my camera, dude, I'm sorry. I know this is just brutal, but this is a very cool card, and I'm very excited. So we get two out of six evolutions. There is Espion, Umbreon, Sylveon. Um, Esprion, Umbreon, Sylveon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and then just Eevee. So I did get all six. Um, I just had my final sale for Umbreon last night, actually. So I did end up getting all six. And I don't know when those are going to come in, but I'm going to be really excited when they do come in. And we might as well just open up these uh, weird three-pack three pack cards and kind of see what we got. Might as well try that out. But yeah, we'll just do like a mega pack opening. I'll just open all three and you guys can trust that I'm not like funneling other cards in. Um, I don't know why you would do that. Just to like, oh, just to, I don't know, get more views, get those clicks, man. Alrighty, so we did get those packs open and I'm going to give you guys this code card and it is backwards, I believe. So have fun with that and it won't, it will not focus. So that's what we're going to have to do. If you want it, you want it. If not, if not. But we did do, I'm going to call it a mega pack opening. We did open up this as long with the other three card packs. So we're going to see what we get. Um, and, I mean, it's not going to be anything fun for you guys. But we're going to go through. We got a Mudbray, Slowpoke, Gumi, Taillow, uh, Reverse Hollow Victory, uh, Victini, which is kind of cool. Got that little shine on it. Um, a Tapu Coco GX, which is really cool, actually. Um, not a big, you know me, not a big Gen 6 fan, but that Tapu Coco GX is actually super cool. Like, really cool. Um, that probably came from the Sun and Moon pack. We got Energy. Um, and did we get anything else cool? No, we did not. But that was very nice of that eBay seller to send us those extra three packs along with the card. Maybe she knew. Maybe she knew it was a risk. It was a calculated risk that I was going for. But we're going to have to get this Tapu Coco in a sleeve. Because I think this bad boy might be worth something. Get you guys one more view of that. Um, and just not be able to... Oh, there we go. Okay, i got to block my dumb face out. And then it can focus. Alright, we're going to move on to the next card. It is a card I received about two days ago. And it's not in the packaging. I did open it up. And it's a card I'm very excited about. It's a very non... Like, oh man, this card's gonna be so much value when it's when it's you know in years. It's just a fun card that I'm really excited to open. And it is actually from the Hidden Fate set. It is a shiny whooper. It is not graded or anything, but it is that pink little whooper just hanging out, absolutely just chilling. And I apologize that it's not focusing on it, but I'm very excited to pick this card up just because I liked it. And I did pick it up for $6.95, $6.95, don't worry, not $695, but it is just a really goofy looking whooper, and I just love it. You know me, I love weird Pokemon, and I love whooper. And once again, apologies that it is backwards, but that's just how my face cam is right now. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on to the smaller package. I really don't know what's going to be in here, but it's probably going to be another PSA card. And, um, I don't know. We're just going to struggle opening this, even though I already made slits in the packaging. Oh, my god. Oh, that sound. Oh, cardboard on cardboard. But yeah, it does look like it's a graded card. And it is going to be... Ooh, this is a pretty one. This is a pretty one. It is going to be the Shiny Eevee from the Hidden Fate set. Shiny Eevee, I think this, it's a simple concept with these cards, and I'm going to get you to focus, I promise. All right, we finally got it to focus. It is that Shiny Eevee. Like I said, very simple concept, but we did get it in PSA 10, which I'm very excited about, and I just think it looks so clean. Like, it doesn't need to be that, um, 
you know, outlandish like a GS GX card, but it's just a shiny EV and I think it looks so cool. So we did get three of our six evolutions. I guess EV is considered an evolution. I don't know, but this card just looks so good and I'm really happy that we uh, picked it up. There's a big one in there that I'm saving for last because I have a feeling I know what it is, but I could be wrong. This guy is uh, in some, some cardboard that it looks pretty impenetrable, but we're gonna get him out. Oh, that kind of slipped out kind of nicely. Um, ooh, I know what this bad boy is. It is in the cardboard, we're gonna pull this out. Wow, this guy did a great job, or this girl, whoever it was, did a great job of protecting this. First off, can we applaud? He cut out a hole in the UPS box and then put the card in there. But this is just going to be another addition to our um, Team Rocket set. And I'm really excited to add another add another vintage PSA card to my collection. Um, I really want to get all of the Team Rocket set, but they're just so pricey. And I found a deal on this one. Um, I will get you a good shot of this, hopefully. But it is the Dark Machamp. And it is that first edition PSA 9 Dark Machamp and oh it just looks so good it looks so good but the current market right now is valuing this card at about 145 dollars and i picked it up for a hundred dollars so after this i'm definitely going to check it out see uh if you know i got a steal or if i got screwed <laughs> but so far it's looking pretty great and i'm really excited to add this dark machamp to my collection and we're just gonna slowly but surely just build it up and just have a sweet collection. Before we move on, I wanna address my background. I always look at these videos of people unboxing cards and opening cards and stuff, and their backgrounds are so cool. And I have a freaking shirt hanging up in over here. I got hats right here. I got a jersey balled up in the corner over there. But yeah, hopefully, you know, if we really enjoy opening these cards on YouTube and stuff, then I can get a better background. But I don't know, I just think it's funny that I just have this white trash background right behind me. And finally, we have this bigger package. I have a feeling I know what it is. Um, once again, I did blur out the image, but we are gonna crack this open. Apologies for the, oh, bubble wrap. Watch out, gunshots. Oh, oh. But I might oh. not open this one up right. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, so our last item, I finally got it out of the packaging. I apologize. Hopefully I cut a lot of that out for you guys because um, it was just a, a, a just not fun to get. But it is a Hidden Fates tin. Um, they are reprinting this tin in September as well as uh, the Charizard, Raichu, and then the Gyarados one. And I think this Gyarados one looks so cool. People like the Charizard one a lot more. And um, I'm really debating on if I want to open this because I love Hidden Fates. If I mean, I know you guys don't know my preferences yet, but I love Hidden Fates and I just love opening packs. And I believe there's four packs in here as long as, as well as a Charizard GX. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna open it or if I'm going to save it in the original packaging, but maybe you guys can say in the comment section below if I should open it or if I should keep it in the packaging. Finally, I want to talk about the PSA population report for Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates has a lot of demand, but it also has a lot of cards. Um, that, those are called pop reports, population reports. Um, some of these like cards are going for, like the Charizard, I think it's the Shining Charizard. There's, I believe, I could be wrong. I hopefully will flash something on the screen to see the population report, PSA 9s, PSA 10s. But I think PSA 9s, there might be 1,200 cards. And I think the card is still going for like $1,600 or something crazy like that. I will have the actual stats up on the screen right now, hopefully. But it is just, it is crazy that um, even though there's so many cards out there, the price is still going up. And Hidden Fates is actually reprinting another set of tins, like I said earlier, and they're gonna drop in September and October. So I don't know if that's gonna affect the price of a lot of these cards, but we'll see. If the Hidden Fates series can and can stand to the test, it's been one of the favorite of people's for a while, and uh, we'll just kind of see what happens. Make sure to say in the comment section below which card is your favorite that we got this week. Um, 
I don't know if this is gonna be a weekly series or anything, but uh, I'm really enjoying this right now and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And maybe I can, you know, rekindle a fire in you guys and maybe you guys will wanna go collect more cards because it is very fun. It is a childlike joy opening up a pack. There's nothing, I mean, there's nothing like it. It's nothing, it's just like such a good nostalgic feeling opening up a Pokemon pack and seeing what's inside. And I will see you guys next time. See you later.